It's time for the Cake Drain Show with Drake and Kane. Good morning, Cake Drain Nation. Hello. And welcome to another episode of the Cake Drain Show. Now, today is a very special episode because this past Sunday we have lost a truly amazing actor and just a great member of the film community, Mr. Christopher Lee. Yes. Yes. Sir Christopher Lee was, he was an, a legend of, of film and has inspired so many filmmakers and actors with his legacy of awesomeness. Um, he was born in May 7th, no, 27th, 1922, and passed away, like Drake said, this past Sunday, June 7th, um, at age 93. And uh, it was... Kind of natural causes, which is good, mm -hmm. and uh, he 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 was doing what he loved right up until the end, which is awesome. A lot of people retire pretty early on, but he did what he could as much as he could. That's he lived a long and fruitful life. He enjoyed his life. I mean, we've enjoyed experiencing his work for many many years. Uh, a lot of us remember him as more recently Saruman, the White from Lord of the Rings, also Count Dooku from Star Wars. Us horror nerds know him best as Dracula from the Hammer films, one of the more evil portrayals of Dracula. Yep. As well, maybe you don't know that he also played the mummy as well as Frankenstein's monster. And at one point he played Rasputin in a film. So he has a long variety of roles that he's played over the years and he's definitely played them very well. Brought class to the world of acting in that. Oh, yeah. Christopher Lee was all about the integrity, um, which is something that is rare, unfortunately, in Hollywood. I mean, his life started off kind of, uh, kind of, kind of rough, but uh, he served during World War II um, in multiple different branches of the military from 1939 all the way to 1946. Um, and, and, of course, he was in, he's from England. He was born in, in England, and so he, he experienced a longer... Uh, part of the war than a lot of people over here in America did, but uh, mm -hmm. a lot of integrity, this guy. He was all about the, the class. Very classy, very proper in his work. Also, a lot of you may not know that he's actually uh, on the Lord of the Rings set. He's the only person to have met J.R.R. Tolkien. He yep. was, and also, it's fun to me to know that he was the biggest Tolkien nerd on set. He would test different actors' um, knowledge of Tolkien and things like that. As well as, he's also a musician. He was in a symphonic metal band that actually won the Spirit of Metal Award yep. for their for their albums. Charlemagne. Charlemagne. Charlemagne's the name of the group. Yeah, for the um, album. The, the album was um, The Sword and the Cross. Sword and the Cross. Um, yes. And, uh, because, I mean, as you know, he's famous for his really deep, impactful voice and uh he, he's an operatic singer and so you can imagine what kind of awesomeness he would bring to a sort of symphonic metal band and I, i've never personally heard any of his music but i'm like i've got to go check it out now i mean drake and i we grew up knowing him from from movies like you said you know as dracula count dooku saruman and even uh in all of the tim burton movies he was in he, he was in five different movies with tim burton they were great friends um and it, it's just been a pleasure to experience his work and, and um, the level of class that he brings to it and truly portrays acting the way that it should be with class, with integrity, and as an art form, not just um, a stunt to be famous, you know? Yeah. And speaking of Tim Burton, Tim Burton actually um, presented uh, Sir Christopher Lee with an award with the BAFTA Fellowship Award, and yes, so that in shows. 2011. Yep. So that shows how not only how close the friends they are, but how much respect Tim Burton has for him as an actor as well. And that's a really cool relationship to have with a director and actor, it is. Um, as well as you know as you know colleagues in the movie industry. And he was also knighted as you, Sir Chris Lee, back in 2009, by Prince Charles. That was so he earned that noble title, which I believe he's had all along. They just gave him the title to go along with it. So 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this little bit of a tribute to this late great actor that has passed on and here's a bit of a photo montage to tribute this amazing actor.